my dear children today we are going to learn about the second part of the first lesson weather condition of the immediate surroundings of the school the first unit under the school and its immediate surrounding weather conditions found in various environments may vary from each other you know it there may be weather conditions you have already learned in your grade 5 such as warm dry rainy windy and misty today let's identify weather conditions of the immediate surrounding of the school <clears throat> the weather conditions found in the particular place may differ from the weather conditions of another place although we identify different weather conditions in various places they may change during the day the reason for this is that the nature of the weather is not always the same you can understand that the nature of the morning environment gradually changes by the differences that you feel as well as by your observation of the surrounding when you observe carefully around the environment as you will feel you can see these changes let's define weather actually what is weather it is the condition of the atmosphere that prevails for a short period of time in a particular area now you know that the change of weather conditions according to time and place it is the nature change of weather conditions according to time and place is its nature so what are the elements of weather we can identify different weather conditions in various places they may change during the day sometimes you may feel warm or it may be uh, going to rain so you can notice following weather conditions temperature rainfall we call it as precipitation wind and clouds those are the main weather elements we can notice actually the weather reports telecasts daily after the news on television it reveals about weather changes in different places sometimes it reveals the changes that happen in another countries also so did you think who prepares weather report the department of meteorology prepares the weather report which is located at bauda loka mavatha kalambu do you know there are many meteorological centers throughout the island and collected data daily about the weather elements from these centers based on these data the department of meteorology prepares the weather report these centers are used advanced equipment to measure the weather elements okay now let's identify some weather elements temperature it is the main element of weather the sun provides temperature and heat the temperature 
of the atmosphere is measured by using thermometer. Temperature is measured by units of Celsius degrees and Fahrenheit degrees. What are the uses of temperature? You can dry wet items. You know that it is very essential for the growth of plants. As well, it helps to maintain water cycle. Look at that picture. Thermometer. There are different shapes. Next move to another element. Rainfall or precipitation. All the water bodies over the earth's surface and in plants turn into vapor due to the heat of the sun. Now you can realize that. The heat of the sun effect to the water cycle. Earlier we discussed. This water vapor rises up in the atmosphere. Then it cools and condenses. Clouds are formed with the condensation of water vapor and fallen back to earth surface as rain. This process is called water cycle. Observe this picture. You can see evaporation, condensation, precipitation and also transpiration from the plants, snow and ice caps, right? Okay, those are the main processes that happen in water cycle. You can get a clear idea when you watch this video. When water turns into water vapor due to heat and the sky
happens cooler place they start taking the shape of water again it is called condensation when cooler places they come and again change it to it is called condensation they are becoming heavy becoming bigger and heavier. They are falling down due to Earth's gravity. Precipitation. Precipitation. See, Jimmy. Some part of it. Oh. Would become a vapor. Okay, you all ready got idea about water cycle, the process of water cycle. Let's see, how do we measure the rain? To measure the rain, we can measure it using a rain gauge. Rain is measured in millimeters. Look at that picture. What are the uses of rain? Obtaining water for drinking, for domestic purposes such as for cooking, washing, cleaning, etc. As well as we use rain for agricultural activities. Wind. When observe the environment, we can see moving leaves or branches of trees. This happens as a result of the blowing wind. When the wind that blows at a higher speed, it is called a storm. The wind that blows with a lesser speed, it is called a breeze. To measure the wind speed and to show the wind blowing direction, there are two equipment we used. Wind direction indicator, it shows the direction of the wind. The arrow heads shows the wind blowing direction. Anemometer, it is used to measure the speed of wind. It is measured in kilometers per hour. Okay, let's move to another weather element, clouds. Clouds are different shapes and colors. When you observe the sky, you can identify the nature of clouds. Before rain, when you observe the sky, thick dark clouds can be seen. When there are no clouds, the sky is clear and blue. So, according to above information, you have learned, you can realize the weather in the immediate surroundings of your school as well as of your living surrounding. So, you can also use different types of equipments and observations. You know that and you already learn about there are different equipments we use to measure different elements of weather. But to measure the nature of the clouds, we only use observation. Now, tell me, who needs to know about weather? Farmer, pilot, sailor, fisherman are some of the people who need to know about weather. There are many people. If we know about the weather, we can plan our day-to-day -day activities. Prevent from natural hazards like floods, droughts, landslides, etc. As well, 
farmers and fishermen can engage in their activities successfully. Do these activities. Make a rain gauge with the instructions of your teacher. Second one, make a wind direction indicator with the guidance of your teacher. Pay your attention to the weather forecast presented on television or in any other media during a week and be alert to see whether there are changes of weather occurring as stated by media. Keep records of them. Thank you.